what is going on guys we are back again with another video this one facebook pixel for dummies i like this for dummies thing sorry in the last video that i had the corners were a little bit cut off because i was trying to um, film with google docs before so it's a little bit of a different angle i just forgot to switch it back but the value was the same so i'm just going to leave it but in this one we should be good so facebook pixel for dummies let's just dive right into it so first thing i want you to understand is i I'm, i was a dummy like when i first started out I was, uh, I was pretty dumb. I had no idea what retargeting was. I didn't know what the pixel was. I didn't know how to, uh, I didn't know how to install it. Like I, I didn't even know what installing it meant to be honest. I knew absolutely nothing. And the truth is, is the pixel is confusing and it's very difficult to wrap your head around it. If you know nothing about it, just like I did when I first started out, but after learning about it a little bit, it was easy to figure out. So stay tuned and I'll teach you the basics. So the easy explanation is the Facebook pixel allows you to track your users actions on your website. It also stores that data for you to use later on with retargeting. And you can also make lookalikes with that data later on as well. So I'm sure that you've heard this before. Make sure your pixel is installed. I know everybody says that everybody talks about it, but first off, you need to put your pixel on your website in order for it to work. Some platforms use your pixel ID and some use snippets of code. All you gotta do is just look up on YouTube how to install a Facebook Pixel. Um, there's a ton of videos on you know different platforms like Shopify, ClickFunnels, WordPress, WooCommerce. Um, you know whatever you're using, there's different ways to do it for every platform. So all you gotta do is just Google it and it'll tell you the answer. But it's pretty simple, usually not too confusing. So let's go over the Pixel basics. Your Pixel will track page views, add to carts, purchases, searches, searches. You know, whatever, whatever actions people can take on your website, the Facebook pixel can track. And this basically allows your ads manager to relay data from your, from your ad to your website and then back to your ads manager, which allows Facebook to tell you how your ads are performing and what the results are. Um, and basically it uses cookies, which is tagged in the user's browser when they click your ad. So every action that they take on your website after they click your ad is trackable and your ads manager columns will tell you exactly what actions those users took. Optimization, which we talked a little bit about this in the last four dummies episode, but basically Facebook will use your, use your users actions to help push more people deeper into your sales funnel. They can tell that, you know, if you're using Shopify, there's a basic sales funnel that happens in terms of your pixel. First, the user will view the page and then they will go to the add to cart page and then they'll go to the initiate checkout and then they'll purchase. And this basically tells Facebook that in order to get a purchase, they first need to get an initiate checkout. In order to get an initiate checkout, they first need to get an add to cart and then the same thing with page view. And it will optimize using that data to help you get more of whatever you're optimizing for. So stored data from the pixel. The pixel stores data as well. So whatever actions your users take on your website, you can actually use this data for retargeting and creating lookalikes. These are called custom audiences. I talked about them more in my last video, but this is really helpful and it's a feature of the pixel that is a little bit better than data tracking, but they kind of work together really good. Um, but it also, if you go to the pixels page, it tracks how many total uh, pixel events that triggered. So you can actually go to the pixels page and see how many add to carts you've gotten in the past 30 days. So this was a quick video because I talked a lot about the pixel in the last four dummies episode. If you don't, if you haven't seen it yet, I'll put it in the end credits of this video. But basically the pixel is your best friend. I said this in the last video. Um, leave your comments down below. I will try to reply to every comment. I know if you're a beginner, there's a lot of questions that come up. So I actually want you guys to, you know, ask whatever you have. No question is stupid. Um, like I said, I was a dummy once upon a time before I understood. But once everything is explained, you kind of you start getting the gist of it. But I hope this helped you all understand the pixel. If it did, please drop a comment with any questions or anything that you might want to say. Um, leave a like and hit subscribe. I really appreciate every single one of you who do. But as for this video, this is Noah Burr and I'm out. Peace.